We begin in an alternate version of Earth during the early 21st century. After a treaty ends all international conflict, the world powers destroy all nuclear weapons by firing them into the upper atmosphere and intercepting them with other missiles. This event becomes known as the Fireworks and symbolizes world peace to the general populace. In an effort to combat terrorism, pandemic disease, and cyber terrorism, the International Ethics Committee, or IEC, shuts down all air travel and public use of the internet. Air transportation is replaced by a system of intercontinental expressways. However, a new terrorist group called Heaven Smile appears, targeting both the United Nations, or UN, and the IEC. The members of Heaven Smile are humans who have been infected with a virus that evokes a desire to kill. Factory-produced smiles are given a bomb organ that allows them to explode at will, their principal means of attack. Japanese politics are dominated by two parties, the UN Party and the Liberal Party. The UN Party is more powerful and moves to end the Asian Security Treaty and sever ties with the United States, or US. The UN Party seized control of the Japanese government, guided by the Yakumo Cabinet Policy, a secret document which details how to run the ideal nation. It was written by the Union Seven, young members of the Liberal Party who went on to found the UN Party. The US government is also eager to sever relations with Japan, viewing the country as both a hindrance and of little economic value. There exists a group of assassins called the Killer Seven, led by an elderly man in a wheelchair named Harmon Smith, who exhibits Multifoliate Personae Phenomenon, or MPP, a bizarre supernatural condition that allows him to absorb the consciousness and bodies of the dead as Personae. They become a part of his psyche, and he gains the ability to transform into them both mentally and physically. The Killer Seven group consists of Garcian Smith, Dan Smith, Coyote Smith, Kevin Smith, Coyote Smith, Con Smith, and Mask Day Smith, all of whom were skilled killers in life, and whose souls were absorbed by Harmon using his MPP after their deaths. The Killer Seven were temporarily incapacitated in an incident 50 years ago, in which the members of the group were systematically tracked and killed while performing a job at the Union Hotel in Pennsylvania, USA. Garcian, whose powers to revive fallen personae, became the dominant personality as a result. In this capacity, he receives orders from the frail Harmon when his consciousness is awake and accepts jobs from Christopher Mills, who hires the Killer Seven on behalf of the U.S. government. MPP also causes Harmon and his personae to see remnant psyches, or ghosts of their past victims. It was Aru, a man in a bondage suit, and Travis Bell, the Killer Seven's first assassination target, are the primary remnant psyches who aid them throughout their missions. An old friend of Harmon's, Kun Lan, possesses the Hand of God ability, a supernatural power that produces the Heaven Smile virus. Garcian and Mills discuss a new assignment for the Killer Seven. The group battles their way to the top of a building which has become infested with Heaven Smiles. Harmon confronts the source of the smiles, an angel-like figure, but discovers she's merely Kun Lan's puppet. Harmon and Kun Lan discuss the current state of the world before Kun Lan escapes. In subsequent missions, the Killer Seven target a number of individuals on behalf of the U.S. government and for personal reasons. They kill Andre Ulmeda, a Texan postal worker who established a successful company based on the Akumo when he becomes infected with the Heaven Smile virus. Dan confronts Curtis Blackburn, his former mentor and murderer, when Mills informs the group that Blackburn's running an organ smuggling business which targets young girls. Their penultimate mission pits them against the Handsome Men, a group of Sentai Rangers who assassinate a U.S. politician. After a volley of 200 intercontinental ballistic missiles are fired at Japan, the U.S. government contracts the Killer Seven to eliminate Toru Fukushima, the head of the U.N. party. However, an assassin posing as Fukushima's secretary kills him first in an attempt to reclaim the Akumo document for the Liberal Party, believing its information will help the party to regain its political power. Shortly thereafter, Kenjiro Matsuken Matsuoka kills two senior members of the UN party to become its new leader, under the influence of Kun Lan. In the end, the Killer Seven defeat the two UN party members who had been reanimated by Kun Lan, as Japan is destroyed by the missiles. In their final mission, the Killer Seven seek Matsuken, who leads the 10 million UN party members living in the US. The US government fears that if they converge in a single state, they could win a seat in the US Senate. Garcian travels to Coburn Elementary School near Seattle, Washington, and discovers audio tapes that reveal the school as a front for the UN party to train children as assassins. The tapes focus on Emir Parkreiner, a gifted killer trained at the school, and Garcian learns that Japan uses Coburn to control the outcome of US presidential elections, as it's the headquarters of the Education Ministry, where the election votes are counted and the results are reported. The Killer Seven battle a group of Invincible Smiles, and all members are incapacitated, except Garcian, who manages to defeat the last of them. 
Afterward, Garcian travels to the Union Hotel, where he witnesses past visions of the other Killer 7 members being assassinated in their rooms. On the roof, he discovers that his true identity is Amir, and that he's the one who killed the other six members at the Union Hotel over 50 years ago. Following that incident, Harmon absorbed Amir as a persona, and Amir's memories were lost. Three years later, Garcian arrives at Battleship Island, Japan's last stronghold, to destroy the final Heaven Smile. He meets with Matsuken, who presents Garcian with a choice. Either let him live, which will allow Japan to mount an assault on the U.S., or kill him, which will allow the U.S. to discover Japan's role in rigging U.S. elections, leading to U.S. forces destroying Battleship Island in retaliation, ending Japan's existence. Garcian chooses to let Matsuken live, and proceeds onward to locate the last Heaven Smile, Iwazaru, whose true identity is revealed to be Kun Lan, and kills him. However, Harmon and Kun Lan are later revealed to be immortal beings, each fighting against the other with opposing beliefs through the years, which persists a century later in Shanghai, China, as they continue their eternal battle.